We're going to look at the different ABO blood typing. And if you have not yet done so, I want you to print out the chart that you can fill in as we go through the giving and receiving of the ABO blood typing. All right, so we're going to start looking at the human blood types. We do this on what we call an ABO system. The reason it's called an ABO system is because you can have blood type A, you can have type blood B, you can have type AB, or you can have type O. The way we determine what type of blood you have is regarding the antigens that you have on the surface of your blood cells. So by definition, an antigen is a cell surface molecule that the body recognizes as foreign. Or at least in this case, you would have antigens on your cell surfaces that the body would recognize also as self. What an antigen does is initiate an immune response. Antibodies, on the other hand, are the opposing protein to an antigen. They also function in part of the immune response. So in other words, your body is able to recognize itself and it's able to recognize anything that's not itself. Anything that's not itself, you're going to create an antibody for, thus the name, antibody or not self, and you'll attack that molecule. So again, antibodies are going to recognize anything that is not self. The ABO antibodies that you have are present at birth. So taking a look here at the red blood cells, you can see that there are some circular, half circle shaped cell surface proteins or antigens on the surface of these red blood cells. The green Y shaped structures are antibodies. And if you have these purple half circle antigens, you don't have, let's say, the foreign cell that has the triangular shaped antigen. So do you see how your antibodies would grab onto that antigen? And if you look at the right, that would continue to happen and your antibodies would continue to grab onto and or attack the foreign antigens. And what this does inside of the blood at least is causes it to coagulate or to clot. So let's go ahead and look at the different blood types that there are in the body. If you have type A blood, it is named for the antigen on the surface of the blood cell. Therefore, people with type A bl blood have A antigens. Since people with type A blood are not type B, they would also have B antibodies. People who have type B blood are named type B, of course, because of the antigen on the cell surface. So they would have type B antigen. And since they are not type A blood, they would have A antibodies. It gets a little trickier for type AB and O. People who have type AB blood have both type A and type B antigens on their cell surface molecules. Therefore, they have no antibodies because, of course, then they would be attacking themselves. People who have type O blood, um, O, if you want to think about it as a zero, has no antigens. So the cell surface is going to be smooth, just like a, an O would be. They do, however, have type A and B antibodies. All right, now there's also a factor in the bloodstream called the rhesus factor or antigen D. This is completely separate from the ABO typing. I want to stress that it is completely separate from the ABO blood typing. So if you've heard of somebody having A positive blood, they would have antigen A and antigen D. Or if somebody had A negative blood, they would have antigen A and no antigen D, thus the negative sign. So if you are Rh positive, you have antigen D. And you would also have no antibodies because again, you would not want to attack yourself. If you're Rh negative, I just mentioned that you have no antigen D. However, Rh negative people also have no antibodies. Unlike the ABO blood type, you are not born with RH antibodies. 
the only way to get an anti-RH antibody is if you get exposed to a positive blood. That could be through childbirth, it could be through uh, a blood transfusion, any of those situations. All right, so a transfusion reaction. This is an adverse effect of blood transfusions. By adverse effects, we mean that you were given the wrong type of blood, the blood is in fact going to clot, and uh, unfortunately, death is most likely going to happen. So, it's important to know who can donate to whom. How to figure this out. When you figure this out, look at the antibodies of the person receiving the blood. If they have the antibody, they cannot receive that type of blood. So let's see a person has type A antibodies. They absolutely cannot get type A blood. So here's where that chart comes into play. Some of this we should already have been able to look at. For example, we have antigen A for type A and antibody B for type A. Going down to type B, they should have antigen B and antibody A. People with type AB blood, we mentioned already, have type A and B antigen and no antibodies. People who have type O blood have no antigens, but they have A and B antibodies. So here's what you do. To make this easy, you can always give and receive to the same type of blood. So if you go down to the give and the receive columns and add in the same type of blood, so for column A, in the receive column put A, in the give column put A. For type B, go down in the receive column put B, in the give column put B. You get the idea, same thing for type AB and same thing for type O. You can always give and receive to the same type of blood. That's the best way to do it. There's a couple other cheats though I would say. Type O blood is called the universal donor. The reason it's called the universal donor is because there are no antigens, there are no cell surface molecules on the surface of those uh, red blood cells. As a result, there's nothing for the antibody to attack. So, if O is the universal donor, then everybody can receive blood from type O. So you can go ahead and put O in each of the columns for the receive. On the flip side of that, type AB blood is the universal recipient. They can get blood from anybody, and the reasoning behind that is because people with AB blood have no antibodies. So if AB is the universal recipient, you can go ahead and put type AB blood under the give column for each type of blood. And by doing so, you should have your entire chart filled in. Now again, it's best to give and receive from the same type, but in an emergency situation, O can be given to anybody. Or AB, since it's an uncommon blood type, um, they can receive blood from anybody. All right, as far as blood disorders go, again, please read these in the textbook. You will be responsible to answer questions regarding these on an exam or a quiz.